I found this ThinkPad uh, some weeks ago, and um, I thought, how well can this run Windows 7? Now, initially, I wanted to pick Windows 10 for this project, but the problem is its CPU just doesn't support it anymore, and also not Windows 8, and that sucks. But Windows 7, yeah, let's see how that runs. Now, the smart way would be to try a Linux on this, but that would be useful, right? So we're gonna do with Windows here. Now this is um, an IBM ThinkPad, not a Lenovo, an IBM. And I found this incredibly, yes, in the dumpster uh, some weeks ago. Don't really remember, it's quite some time. And what it was doing is it was uh, just stuck at the welcome screen for Windows XP. And uh, I think that's why this stupid guy actually threw it away. And uh, with, along with the ThinkPad 2 power supplies and uh, this dock thingy, which it's, uh, it is uh, plugged in right now. Now I want to show you that this is indeed working. I managed to reset it uh, with the built-in reset from for the ThinkPad. And because of uh, that, this is now such a nice, uh, clean Windows XP install, uh, I want to swap out the hard disks. Uh, this is just too nice to ruin just for a stupid Windows install. So. Uh, it's the more useful operating system anyway, but uh, I got enough hard drives. So I've got here this <laughs> Apple hard drive. It's a 60 gig hard drive and we'll put that in and then install Windows 7. Now, uh, before we'll do that, I'll show you the specifications. Now the minimum requirements for Windows 7 are a one gigahertz 32 bit processor. That's what it says and 512 megabytes of RAM, although one gigabyte is recommended. Now this does meet the requirements. It has a 1.4 gigahertz Pentium M. Again, that's the reason why we cannot go higher, unfortunately, than Windows 7 and 1024 megs of RAM. That's exactly one gigabyte. Now I found it with only 512, but I got enough RAM uh, at home and upgraded it to one gigabyte. And with memory, as you can see here, DDR, of course, so the old RAM, but that shouldn't be a problem. However, the one thing that uh, is probably going to cause errors is this, that is the GPU. This is a old, very old ATI mobile. I think it has amazing 16 megs of RAM. And I have a feeling that we will have a hard time getting a driver for it in Windows 7. And you know, that's just part of the fun, right? Now, before we will uh, shut it down and eventually remove the hard drive. And I want to show you this cool dock thingy. Now, this is when computers used to be super practical to work on. Um, IBM has really figured it out. So uh, it appears Right now, the laptop is a very thick old brick. I mean, it really is thick. When it shuts down, I'm gonna close it and you will see that it is indeed very thick. As you can see, this literally looks like a brick. I mean, look at that. That is just some heavy duty machinery. Now, um, this computer used to be a workhorse. This was designed to sit at the office and be taken and going back to the office and just doing work. That's like, that's pretty much explaining the low <laughs> GPU it has. Um, because when I when I flip it around, I'm saying work. Look at that. This dock has all of those nice connectors. We got a PS2, the power, a LAN, a modem, a printer. That really shows the age of this because this printer port is really old. A VGA, a serial port even, and a USB. And when you go over here, you have an optical drive. And here, you got a, a release for the dock. And uh, I don't know. I mean, there's so many goddamn latches on this laptop. 
had to figure them out all all by myself um, over a little time. There's this latch, which I have absolutely no idea what it really does. Uh, I mean, when I unlock it, it only gives me this. Now I suppose that you could put in another battery or so, although I'm not sure. Uh, as you can see, it is in rather nice condition. Uh, I found it though in a very dusty and moldy and just ugly condition, but I managed to scrub it all off. A little bit of residue is still here. You can't really see it in camera, but uh, it cleaned up very nice. And that pretty much shows the amazing build quality these things have. Because other laptops from this era, they're just, you know, cheap plastic and they're probably cracked and everything. But this is still holding together nice. So again, one and two, by the way, here, more latches. I could uh, have a more upright position at the dock. Okay, now um, when we flip this over and I pull this latch, you will find that it makes a click. And when you made that click, you can remove it. At least you should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Now, you could leave this at your office desk or whatever and take the laptop with you, which is actually, as you can see now, not that thick anymore. In fact, for a laptop from this age, I suppose 2003 or so, maximum 2004, it is actually, as you can see, not too thick. And you still have a power, a printer, a VGA, a USB, a LAN, and modem, another USB, all the audio ports, an expansion card slot, and probably my favorite feature of this laptop, a Firewire port. This is my only PC laptop with a Firewire port. I mean, how awesome is that? Unfortunately, on this side, um, you will only find the hard drive caddy and the cooling fan. This doesn't have an optical drive, so if you would need CDs on the go, well, not on this one. However, because of this lacking optical drive, it's very thin and light. And I really mean that. This is not heavy at all. Now for our little project here, uh, we will in fact use a dock because this has an optical drive and I mean if this thing can boot from USB, I mean that would be just awesome. I'm even gonna try it, I don't think it's gonna work though. So let me remove the hard drive and then we can start the project. Hard drive removal is very easy on these. All you do is unscrew that screw. Then comes this latch here that you pull and there it is. Hard drive slides right out. Um, it's kind of having this shield and uh, it's held in with screws. So all I have to do is remove this shield, put in uh, the next hard drive and then just put it back in. That is a work of five goddamn minutes. And if you're fast, even, even less. Now, try to do that on any MacBook Pro. Uh, on the later one, you can't even do that. But for example, on my 07 MacBook Pro, this is a one hour job. If you're fast, at least 45 minutes. Uh, and uh, yeah. Here is just so simple. I mean, I, I love these old IBM laptops um, because laptops from this era are usually so crappy and beat up and everything and don't have anything good to go for them. But this has Firewire, this dock and, you know, all, all cool stuff, even Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I mean, for a laptop from this age, I mean, look at it. This looks like from 1995. I mean, from the design, it's definitely no beauty. But uh, here, it isn't form over function, it is function over form. Really, really awesome though, that I really uh, made these laptops because this keyboard is just uh, a joy to type on. I really miss, miss these types of keyboards. I'm not really a big fan of this pointer thingy and of the kind of ghetto keyboard light. I mean, they were like... Oh God, we can't really have a backlight keyboard. It would just cost too much. Oh yeah, let's put a, a light on the top here. It's gonna work. Nah, it really doesn't. But other than that, uh, for such an old laptop, it kind of astonishes me that it uh, 
It's just so good. Okay, hard drive is in. Um, all I have to do is screw it back in and then we're ready to go. I hope I put it in the wrong way. Me, I mean, otherwise it probably wouldn't have connected, but we'll see in a minute. Now you probably thought, ah, oh, this guy freaks out about an old IBM ThinkPad. They probably made zillions of these. Yes, but guys, I like all laptops. It doesn't matter if they have a Core i7 or like a Pentium M we have here. I like them all. Uh, I'm a computer guy and uh, not the traditional computer guy in that sense that only likes uh, fast and new hardware. No, I like all hardware. Except the Mac Pro, the current one, and the MacBook. I think these two things are just huge pieces of shit. <laughs> Come on, fight me. You know that I don't care. I'm gonna stand by my word. All right. Um, here is uh, the dock again. And yes, we will try to boot it from CD, uh, from USB first. Um, but as I think it's probably not gonna work, I don't wanna like uh, turn it off, put the dock back on and stuff. Um, so let's put it on right away. It's clicked into place. Let's hook up the power. And uh, yeah, the Power Mac G4 is probably not the best place to do this, but uh, right away, but right now I really don't have the, the space to do it somewhere else. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? All right, let's see. Now, back then computer companies weren't so shit and uh, wouldn't let you go in the boot menu or anything. Um, back then you just press a simple button a couple of times and it would boot into the boot menu or BIOS or whatever you want. Okay, let's do that. In this case, it's F12. The good old F12. Preparing boot device list. Okay. Let's connect the USB drive. I probably should have done it already, but I don't care. Let's see. Removable drives. That sounds good to me. Removable drives. Uh, doesn't look too good. <laughs> doesn't look too good at all. Yeah, let's give it a reboot. Operating system not found. Yeah, no shit. Okay. There's probably OS 10 on this drive and uh, that's why it doesn't really recognize it. Let's try it again with the USB plugged in. Nah, this is just too old. But guys, we will boot this thing from USB anyways. Doesn't matter if it can't do it or not. You probably think, oh, this guy is just talking bullshit. No, wait, wait one minute. I've got you this CD. Now we're going to cheat a little bit. This CD has a boot manager on it and uh, it will allow to boot any computer that has a USB port to boot from it. It doesn't matter if the BIOS can't do it or not. The only thing it needs to do is boot from CD and that's what it can do. So let's try it. I inserted this CD and let's give it a reboot. F12, CD-ROM, I think it's called PLOP or something, PLOP boot loader, PLOP boot manager, however, anyway, how it's called, it doesn't matter, these guy, guys, they did an amazing job on just something so simple, but it helps out big time, so I don't have to burn like a million, zillion CDs. Okay, here you can see we could boot from floppy, from USB, or from network, and CD-ROM. So we'll take USB. It's plugged in. Let's see if it works. Device connected. Oh, that's so fast. And here we go. I just previously not being, not being able to boot USB ThinkPad can do it right now. And that's all we had to do. Just use the boot manager plop. That is just awesome. Oh, how well will Windows 7 run? I have no idea. 
probably quite slow since this hard disk is 54 and RPM it's like in the best case <laughs> and you know the, the Pentium M isn't the fastest thing out there too and the RAM isn't so great with one gig so I don't know it will probably run very slow and barely usable but that's what you guys want to see right right yeah you want to see some guy doing it and you don't have to do it and his boot time was not too bad i mean i just paused the video and it went to the cursor so do we have a working cursor we do have a working cursor and it's english why is it english oh i have a different image oh come on i don't know english what is this language? I don't know. I only know no German. Okay, at least some German here. Input German. German IBM? Hmm. Maybe that is... Maybe that right there is the only time I'm going to check the, the, the IBM. But uh, I don't know if I should do it. I mean, it maybe this is like for only IBM keyboards. I'm gonna go with German anyway. I mean, what else? I mean, I don't see any differences on this keyboard than any other German keyboard just because it's an IBM. IBM just wanted to be special so they, they can brag they have their own keyboard input. Woo! All right, we got Windows 7 Ultimate, of course, not some starter or home premium, just a full fat Ultimate. I wanted to get the one better, the Enterprise, but I only happened to have a 64-bit version, and 64-bit isn't uh, gonna work in this case. So we only have uh, Ultimate, which should ultimately be enough. <laughs> okay, driver options. We create a new partition and apply it. And okay, it will create a system partition from the unallocated space. All right. And all we have to do is click next. And now we wait. And we wait because that is probably going to take a while. Even from USB 2.0, it's going to take a while. Especially this part right now. And guys, I don't know what Microsoft thought about this progress bar, but this progress bar has absolutely nothing to do with this progress, but it also has nothing to do with the entire installation process, because when this is done, there starts another screen which says the video performance thing is being tested or something, and you still have to wait, so I don't get it. I don't know what this is. But uh, they didn't really think a lot when they made that. And we're coming up on our first reboot and my... Oh, wait. Ha! It's going again into the pop. Now it should just boot from a uh, hard drive. God damn it. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. I expected some sort of error. Like a blue screen coming out of nowhere while doing the expanding part. Or a crash when it reboots like right now. I've had that happening on like low-end systems. I tried running Windows 7 on. Um, especially Pentium 4s and like old um, AMDs. But that's why we do this, right? This is uh, just a challenge. Some guys have weird hobbies, right? Yeah, um, this is the thing I talked to you about, like the setters updating registry settings thingy. Yeah, I mean, nice for you, but uh, I want to see my desktop when it reboots, when it says it's done. Not updating some settings, but uh, yeah, Microsoft was at her thought, no. You know, guys, just wait. Keep waiting. <laughs> it will come eventually. Note that 
the image I got here, the ISO is Service Pack 1, so uh, this might have here and there some drivers that my other Windows disk don't doesn't have. I've got in fact two Windows 7 disks. I've got a professional 64-bit and a home premium 64-bit and I've got ISOs plenty of enterprise 64-bit and this here ultimate 32-bit and I've also got a Windows 7 starter and tiny 7 which is like a uh, modified version of starter to run on really low system low-end systems but We'd rather not talk about low-end stuff. We only go with Ultimate and stuff, so we only work with the best. It's completing installation. I've also had blue screens here before. So I'm not just sitting here calm and, yeah, it's going to reboot. It's going to work. No, I'm actually hoping it doesn't crash. Um, but it looks looking pretty good. I mean, we meet the minimum requirements. We've got more than half a gigabyte of RAM, which it likes. And we have a supported processor. And uh, it's it's not like some weird hardware configuration. It's, it's just a normal laptop. No laptop. This amazing animation. I don't know how much time they spent on that. I mean, check this out. This is these dots building up. I mean, that must have been so much programming work i can't imagine the hours they spent on this and especially designing this must have like taken up a huge budget i mean how could they come up with a uh, such an amazing simplistic style of loading yeah now i got pissed off <laughs> okay yeah it's back here yeah yeah you can you can stop it you can complete it and not saying you complete it and you in fact just load <laughs> i don't know how many hours i've stared at this screen in my life i have no idea windows 7 i've installed without lying and exaggerating 50 times 60 times probably even more like in my friends uh all wanted Windows 7 and I kind of always reinstalled their machines and it was always Windows 7 so Oof, I don't know million million times Windows 7 running oh I've just absolutely no way of getting behind the keyboard properly so We'll call it ThinkPad X31 and no password. We don't need a password and we don't need a product key. I mean, who needs that? And we install only important updates. Yes, if I'll ever install updates on this, I don't know. But Windows is probably gonna force me to do that. It's just gonna say, you will install updates as soon as I get internet connection. Oh boy, you will install updates. Yeah, okay. Windows is finalizing, that's good, it's fine. Now I wanna get into the device manager and see what doesn't work here? Uh, I have a feeling that the GPU and maybe some of the ports are gonna be hard to install drivers for. If that was a sentence, I don't know. Uh, okay. Repair your desktop. Windows 7 Ultimate. Ultimate, mate. Yeah, there we go, mate. It's installed, mate. <sighs> Do we have Wi-Fi? That's like my first question. I mean, this, this does have Wi-Fi. It does have Bluetooth. Do we have any of these? I have no idea. It says it has no battery installed. That is... Oh, okay. Uh, it is fully charged. But consider replacing your battery. Yeah. Thank you, Windows. I will consider it. Device manager. Oh boy. We got some stuff. 
multimedia audio controller that's always my favorite one uh, that's always so hard to find stuff for uh, display adapter standard VGA of course how can it be else uh, yeah we got firewire amazing batteries as if we would care of course that is perfectly working uh, okay what else monitors yeah that's not so bad network yes we got LAN I feared one moment that we might not have LAN uh, but we do have LAN it's like this very popular Intel um, hardware multimedia audio controller and network controller that is probably the Wi-Fi and here we have maybe Bluetooth I don't know um, it's always so great on helping you Windows. I mean, it always says like the location on Microsoft ACPI compliant embedded controller and the drivers is not installed. Oh, really? Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. Oh, of course, this works. Um, and uh, the ports, <laughs> all of these ports I just don't use. They all work great. Processors. Yeah, that is working good. Oh boy, system devices, they sh seem to chug along just fine, and USB, of course, is working. So, um, I will hop on the IBM or now Lenovo website, type in IBM ThinkPad X31, and find out there are no drivers for Windows 7, just for XP. But let's see if that's true. Maybe they have some Windows 7 drivers for this. I doubt it, but maybe they have. We got PC products and mobile products and we got intelligent products. We got dumb products right here and intelligent ones right there. But they all just don't uh, match my search results here. Here we have some stuff. We got uh, thinkpads.com. <laughs> Thinkpad drivers and like from Lenovo. Uh, but... Uh, Maybe we'll just cheat a little bit here and copy this link. And now, maybe, we'll go to the official website. Okay, so this thinkpads.com just uses Lenovo's website for their stuff. Does Lenovo know that? I don't know. Category. We got category. Category, sorry. Windows 7. 8.1, even. Okay, Windows 7, did it uh, refresh? Yeah, I think it just, there, there is no button to click to submit. There's just this website and that's really everything. But I see a whole lot of XP, but not a whole lot Windows 7. Okay, BIOS. Um, BIOS, okay. We don't need a BIOS. We need Wi-Fi. Yes. And of course, no Windows 7. Uh, what did I think anyway? Let's go into Bluetooth and modem. That sounds good. Uh, I mean, I've got Windows 7 checked. Why, why give me these results for Windows 95? <laughs> I mean, really, is that your real result? I did, this just doesn't care what operating system. It just gives everything it has. Ah, oh, great, mate. I will just go with the XP driver and do the good old running compatibility mode trick and then crash the whole system. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that's the... That's the latest one released in March 24. There we go. Okay. Chipset, 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 chipset. Display and video graphics. Why didn't I read that earlier? That's because I'm holding a phone and you you're just looking at me. Why do you look at me searching for drivers? Don't you have anything better to do, guys? I mean this must how how bored are you? I don't know. We got released in 27. 
presentation director. Now that's some weird name for a driver. Why do we need that, I think? That's for Windows 98, no. Windows NT, no. XP, that's looking better. Uh, I think that's the one we need because this has a, an ATI GPU and I don't think presentation director is going to help us. The director is probably retired. Uh, Windows XP, yeah, all XP. It is. Uh, this isn't looking good, guys. This is uh, actually looking very bad. This is going to end up with a bad blue screen when we're done here. Uh, I will get this. I mean, this is the latest. The latest is always the greatest. And what else do we don't have? I mean, that's I mean, we got modem and Bluetooth, and we got Wi-Fi, and we got audio and GPU. So this should be good for now. I will I will try to get any of these working and see what we have. We get Windows Update here. I mean, uh, I mean, I think Microsoft and Lenovo or IBM they're like really the the besties, if that's a word. They're like best friends forever. BFFs. Um, why does it not work? Explorer. Explorer. Do your job. Explorer. Boy. Oh, if you haven't turned off uh, in this driver's clip I shot, you're a real loyal viewer. Thank you. Can't believe we're still here. Okay, we get that drivers. And let's see. Now, they always make some great names. I suppose it's BT Bluetooth. But this, I mean, 1GA, I don't know what that is. This is like, yeah, it was a weird code. I don't know what it means. Let's start slow here and crash it slow and painful. Um, we got here Bluetooth driver. It's probably going to say, not for Windows 7, you can run but we'll we'll see if it does it in compatibility mode. Now it's gonna fire up the setup. Hopefully it's gonna fire up anything. I don't know if it does it. Um, no, of course not. Of course not. Only extracts it. Just under here drivers and now uh, win. No Linux, right? Ha ha ha. Okay, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe it's loading into the background because it's just so slow. I don't know. Set up. Yes. Bluetooth software setup. Configure here. It's like half English, half German. Oh, this is looking good so far. But I think now it's going to say it's not working. Am I really recording a fucking driver installation? I mean, why would anybody watch this? This is just a loading bar and probably a crash because it's a driver. It's not supposed to run on this OS. Please, no error. 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 Oh, we get another loading bar after a loading bar. Who doesn't like that? Why am I holding the, ca the camera? I've got your tripod. Okay. Bluetooth for Windows informations are being collected. And what the hell does that mean? Bluetooth umgebung, weird of your desktop and seared. Oh no, the compatibility issues. We were gonna run the program anyway. I'm gonna run it, bitch. That's what I was looking for. Oh, we got a crashed explorer or a explorer that is relaunching. Bluetooth driver. Install the software anyway. Yeah, just do it, God. Yes. Now please don't crash. Whoa, this is going nuts back here in the device manager. Doing the device manager dance. Probably it refreshed. Saying, yeah, you got another device that works. Okay, yes, do it. Why is it taking so long? 
Am I even gonna use Bluetooth? I mean, it would be better if the Wi-Fi worked. Why am I recording this? I'm just so bored to death that I'm really recording a driver installation. Yes, we got another error back here, but we're gonna run the program. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna run it. And now, do we have Bluetooth or does it need a reboot? You know what? We have Bluetooth? Oh god. ITI. Here we have a problem. I really don't wanna. I don't wanna be so weird and shit because there are people in the house and. <laughs> What is that? That's the old grammar in German, but uh, it just looks so weird. Um, huh. I mean, you, you really gotta be a professional to understand that you have to check this box. And it's uh, 15,000 K. The B was just not in there anymore. B wasn't good enough. It's only K. Now the Bluetooth actually worked. I mean, it said compatibility, blah de blah. Oh, but this one. Mm, yeah, could be because of this. You know, we'll do a trick. We'll do a trick. Wait, we'll do a trick. We'll do properties. Compatibility. Run this program in compatibility mode with Windows XP. <coughs> Run it as an administrator. And see if it now works. No idea. It works with a, an Intel chip. Um, Intel 82865. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter at the moment anyway. Oh, now we gotta... Huh? Okay, I don't care. Now there's one. <clears throat> one more. Now please work. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, here is the problem. I'm kind of afraid to reboot it because I think once this reaches the desktop, it's gonna blue screen. Since there's a driver installed that is not meant to be. <laughs> Gonna be interesting, guys. How big is it on your screen? <laughs> Probably way too big. But since Windows doesn't load, oh, okay, yeah, we got it. We run the program. And there's the Bluetooth, and of course we don't show the message again because we run the program. Ooh. Yeah, for God's sake, run it, bitch. Okay. There is the GPU. Wow. Very good. Very good. This worked. I mean, I told you it worked. Like the Vista video I made the other day didn't work. Because Vista, because Windows 7 is good. No problem. Now let's install. Ooh. Okay. Whew. Just thought we are gonna get a blue screen. Okay. <laughs> now we got a Bluetooth and cable. Awesome. Don't know what that is. Um, we got the drivers and... I don't know which one I previously did, so let's do this. 
I hope that is the Wi-Fi. And oh, that's the audio. Wait, I, wait, wait, wait. I got one problem here. I don't have the Wi-Fi, I think. I think the Wi-Fi is still on this cruel website. Waiting for me to download it and saying, please, I want to be installed. Wait, let me, let me get into the device manager and see if it is installed or not. Probably not. Probably nah. Okay, no, not work controller is still here. Very bad, very bad. Let's try to ruin it again and install the audio driver this time. I like how it says here, um, audio and then BGCHCT and display. Okay, and <laughs> here's more caps lock stuff. Looks like from the Windows 3.1 days. Okay, set up. Come on, set up, set up, set up. Set up. Sound max. It is gonna provide sound to the max. Or if the user is the max, called max, he's also providing it for max. Let's try the compatibility mode. Okay, I the sound max uh, is loading. It's the old trick. Okay, oh, little rebooted light. And right now I've got here the. Uh, the Wi-Fi driver. Um, can you guess which one it is? I'm gonna feel lucky and try this. Ours Windows. I'm in love. It's like saying. Uh, Oh god, these drivers amuse me. Um, why am I even trying to run it normally? I mean, this is not supposed to run on 7, so why should it do it? Because I'm naive and try to do it mess. Oh, okay. Now, this one is interesting. There's like, uh, what if my error message is just not doing anything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait. We'll go to compatibility. Run in service peak 3 Windows XP and no room as administrator. And uh, Vera, Vera. Now it launched. That's good, I think. Is that the name of the driver? ThinkPad, wireless, LAN adapters, software, meeting house protocol driver. <laughs> well, it's guess it's not the hotel protocol driver. Um. Yeah. It's going. I mean, this compatibility mode thing is kind of cheating. Um. But then, I mean, if it works, can it really be so hard to just make an official Windows 7 driver? I mean, really? I can't imagine. I mean, it's not going to be stable, but... Um, I mean, as you see... Uh, it's running now three cheated drivers, so... S DS and up error. <laughs> you need Nintendo DS and you up and VW up. 
and then you have no ADI codec driver is installed. What is ADI? Hmm. Um, I mean, it loaded. Um, we got a Bluetooth symbol on the desktop. I mean, that's weird, but let's see if we have Wi-Fi. I think that was the, the error message about, about the Wi-Fi. Uh, or was it the audio? I don't know. Yeah, looking bad. There are some more unknown devices, but you know what? This, this Wi-Fi driver, <clears throat> I don't care. I could go on Google and Google it forever and ever just to see it connecting to the internet. I mean, just look at your PC you're watching right now. This computer is on the internet, and how will this be different on that one? So, I mean, this was a stupid video without, uh, without any result. Um, we kind of turned weird, and it's definitely boring. Um, so, I don't know, I mean, I got the graphics working, and I got the, uh, the audio maybe working, I don't know. Should I really check it? I mean, are there any sample musics? Yeah, Kalimba, Kalimba de Luna. It's probably not that one. It's probably some stuck from Ninja Tuna. <laughs> Ninja Tuna, seriously? Okay. Uh, Ninja Turtles is out. Ninja Tuna is in. But as you can see, it's playing it, so yay! We got it working! Well, I think I've heard that before. Awesome. Let's see if it mate, mate with the flags. <laughs> what? What is from Richard Storzmann? Storzmann. Storzmann. <laughs> Storzmann. From Slovak Radio Symphony Orchestra. Okay. We have to rename that. Um, I think this, this song is written wrong. Now it's correct. What is flex even meaning? Mmm, some classical. It's always classy. But I like the classical more that uh, kind of is less. Slow. Sleep away. How can you sleep away? There's no way you can sleep away. You can walk away or run away or, I don't know, crawl away. But you definitely can't sleep away. You can even dream away. But sleep away? Oh, it's not working, guys. Uh, Bob Acri is playing very nice. So, yeah. Get working, uh working um audio driver bluetooth what is it doing here bluetooth and gable what is that i don't know i've never seen that before is that some utility or what or what uh no idea it's like a really old bluetooth symbol right there um okay <laughs> wait is that the device that's not found the driver? Uh, not finding the Bluetooth hardware? Or is it... Or is it... Windows can't open the file, okay. Oh. Yeah, look at that chime. <laughs> look at the chime. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really stupid. Okay, you can hear the chime. And it froze up. Yeah, I'm gonna throw up if it froze up one more time. Okay, peeps. Oh god, I can't believe I said that. I hate that word. Um, yeah.
I installed Opera. I mean, and Candy of Max is a website, but uh, it's not like I'm leaving this on Internet Explorer. Uh, even if I can't access the internet, it's just something you have to do. Um, and I uh, tried getting some stuff on this, but uh, I just don't have the time anymore. Gotta get back to some stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing too interesting anymore, if there ever was. This is kind of the, the weirdest Windows install you've ever seen, probably. Uh, just wait until our next video, then uh, this will be rendered obsolete in that case. Installed pretty good for a not supported computer. Signing out. By the way, um, see you. And um, I'm gonna sign out of YouTube, but I'm also gonna sign out of Windows. This made no sense, I know.